The update to GTK 3.20 breaks many themes on Manjaro and my Cup of Linux edition. I made some new themes for mcol users, and I will show you how I did it using a tool from GitHub called Umox. All of the fun begins right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, if you click the link in the description, it will take you to my website where members of the Cup of Linux community may download the themes that I have created for the Manjaro Cup of Linux edition. Okay, it's a 7-zip file, and it's very easy to open up. So let's go ahead and uh, navigate to where I downloaded that file. We're just going to right-click on it and extract here. And you will have two new folders, one called mcol bleak and one called mcol night. Let's minimize this here. And uh, let's move some stuff around so we can work better. Pressing Alt-F2, we're going to run uh, GKSU Thunar. All right, and uh, I have it set to where uh, it remembers not to ask me for my password during my session. So that's why it didn't ask. We're going to go into file system here. We need to navigate to user slash share slash themes. Okay, and this is where all of my themes reside. And now we need to... Uh, Highlight both of these, right-click and copy, right-click and paste them. Once they are pasted, we need to right-click. They're both selected. Go into Properties on these folders. Under Permissions, we need to change the group to Users. Once that is done, we can close. And then when we go into our system settings here and going into appearance, you will see that there are two new choices available. One for mcol bleak and one for mcol night. I like the night one myself, but I figured I'd make a theme. And let's open up a new folder here. All right, and that's how it looks with the... Uh, with that darker theme. So for those of you who wanted those really, really dark themes, and look at this. It even looks nice when you're using a PAMAC. So we've created some pretty neat little themes for this right here. Now that I've shown you how to install my themes, let me show you how I made them. This is really cool. Open your web browser and go to GitHub. And uh, this is, uh, I guess, by Action Lists, and it's called Umox. They have a cool page here, which uh, basically gives you information uh, about this project with some screenshots. And they included instructions here with which to install this. And, of course, if you're using uh, Arch Linux or Manjaro or something like that, we're going to install this way. We're not going to edit the package build, and we're going to continue installing. This way it makes sure it's got all the dependencies and all the other fun stuff added. Give it your password. And we'll install it. And next, all we have to do is just run the command that it tells us to. And that is uh, umox tech gy. Right, and then now we have a nice little GUI with which to work with. By the way, while we're still here, for those of you uh, running tiling window managers, there are instructions here uh, that you may need to set up for that. 
Also, there are some uh, other informations here for those of you using distributions such as Ubuntu. It gives you a list of all of the dependencies you're going to need to run this. And then just simply uh, make sure that you have git installed. Run this command, these commands here. I tried them myself. It works. So you can either use the GUI or you can use the command line tool to uh, edit some of the built-in themes for this. Let's go ahead and minimize this window. We don't need that anymore because we're going to be working directly with this. Um, also, any themes that you generate with this will go in your home, your username dot themes folder. Okay. So um, first, we're going to need to pick a theme that we want. All right, let's work off of LCARS here. And what we need to do is click this icon to clone this current theme. And we're going to call this uh, LCARS TAC SPAT. Okay. Now we have that LCARS SPAT theme. And now we can go ahead and change it to to whatever we want. Maybe we want to make this a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so we can go in and uh, maybe change some of these colors out and uh, have the look and feel that we want. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Well, no, not really. Let's just export the theme. And yes, we want to save our changes, obviously. And now a script is running here that's basically generating the GTK3 theme. And these are GTK3.20 compatible. All right. And now when we go into our settings manager here and we choose the appearance, you will see we have the Elkar spat theme that I just made. And it takes a moment here for it to respond. But you can see that it has done exactly what we wanted. And, well, I'm not too thrilled with how that looks. But at least you get the idea of what you have the capability of doing with this. Um, let's go ahead and uh, put that back on M. Cole Knight here. <laughs> I don't like that one. We're going to uh, move that one to the garbage here. Maybe take a different theme like Noble Dark here. Maybe give this a more aesthetically appealing appearance. We'll select that. Uh, oops, I forgot to clone this. So, um... Uh, no, I don't want to change that theme. Okay, great. Now we're back to that. We're going to clone this, and we'll call this Noble Spat. All right, there's Noble Spat. Then we can change the color. You need to clone it first, because I found that if you don't clone it first, what's going to happen is it's not going to save the theme. So that's why I've cloned them. All right, um, then now we're going to export that theme. Uh, yes, we'll save those changes. We'll let the let it spit out and do its, uh, let the uh, mouse run after the cheese and the wheel kind of thing going on here. Go back to all settings here. Give it a chance to catch up. All right, and then we'll go back into appearance here. And look at this, Umox Noble Spat. Okay, and now we've got, well, it's a little bit lighter than I would like it, but at least you get the idea. So you have some colors that you can mess around with and tweak. That's how it looks here now. So you now have the ability to make your own themes. How cool is that? So, at the end of the day, I'd like to thank Actionless Umox for this wonderful tool. This is going to make a lot of people who have upgraded to GTK 3.20 super duper happy. You guys are a champ and you know it. That's all I have on this. Not sure what I'm going to do next, but I'm sure I'll have something exciting coming up fairly soon. Peace out! Mm -hmm.